Okay, Cable Guys have released a new plugin called Snapback. I haven't seen any other plugin do something like this. There's another one that I can compare it to called Slap, and this one is by Mr. Bill, which I believe is a hidden gem that I'm not going to lie to you guys, I kind of gatekeep a little bit because it's just so good. It offers a lot of effects to process drums. It also has a very similar transient feature that Snapback is going to have. But from there, Snapback will offer something different. It's a little cheaper. And it also offers a pre-transient effect, which we're going to be going into as well. So on the bottom right of Snapback, we have this really cool transient feature, which we can use to layer a transient element on top of the kick to make it pop more. So let's see if we can get the EDM top. And now we're adding that nice snap on top. We can control the way this transient works and sounds with the bottom right section where we have the width, the panning of it. We're also gonna have, for instance, I could filter it out. It's just the tip. We can play with the decay time on it, which I would probably, because I just want to click on it. We can pitch it up and down. Okay, now I can turn it on and off. That's that nice edge. Let's control the volume. All right, and we're gonna have access to a bunch of these little clicks, which I think is very valuable. As a sound designer, right, I'm, I, I'm always making stuff for producers to use in their music and I mean, for 30 bucks, offering these many clicks, man, I don't know how I would make them do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a good deal in its own right. And I think the deal is only lasting for a bit for this like month. because It's like a Black Friday kind of combo deal. Okay, so let's let's explore some of the other clicks. The thing with kicks too that and there's some kicks that I'll hear on Splice. Sometimes some of them have this really sick atmosphere to them where... You can kind of debate if it's needed in a kick, right? Uh, but I do do it sometimes because sometimes if the track is very minimalistic, we can add like a layer to the kick in order to make it sound more interesting to the ears to give it that unique touch. So here we can, I believe we can shift as well. We can shift this to the left. Okay, a bit more. There we go. Let's see if we can move this down a bit. Just like a little layer on the kick. That's so pro, though. Those are the little things, right? You know, I have the privilege, you know, of teaching students. Very, very rewarding. And sometimes they'll ask, yo, you know, like, I make good music, but I, I'm missing something. What do you think I'm missing? And sometimes it's a lot of these little things, right? We can go with basic stock sounding stuff that sounds good. But, okay, I need that little extra edge. This is one way to kind of get it. So... And, and yeah, you know, you could go low and add lows as well there. My thing with this and my question would be remove that part of the kick and replace it with this or if this is just being layered on top of it. Now, I don't really see a feature in this that shows anything that would allow us to do that. So it's going to be one of those things where we're going to layer a lot more, it seems. So we're going to layer on over existing content, which can be good and bad. But again, you can always add a nice little shift. You can add attack to you. So you don't want overwhelming amount of transients just hitting on that one beat. You can add the attack, use the decay, or the volume, get the nice top, and there we go. The other cool feature that it has, and we're going to go over to the clap here, pre-shifted claps, or these reverse claps that lead into a clap. Those are cool things to do in a song because it allows the groove just to kind of like, pa, pa, you know, like it adds a lot. It's, it's one of those things that it's like, teach me one little trick that the pros do that beginner, amateur producers, or intermediates wouldn't do. Versus just having, okay, right? And you can have that happen whenever you feel it's needed in the groove. Right? However, we'll have access to this feature here, which they call snapback, a pre-transient layer that we can add that leads into it, right? So for instance, I could add, let's say, let's go 90s dance flip, and we're going to add it to the clap. We're going to increase the volume. You can get that whoop, whoop. It sounds like a reverse kick. There we go. Now we're talking. Pulling our balls on the desk. <laughs> so now we can use the filter to EQ that. 
Now, here's my thing, and maybe some of you guys can help me out in the comments, right? I like the idea of that. I just wish there was a feature in it where I could set it so that it hits every, it does it every four claps or after, uh, or every four bars, right? So for instance, it would be something like this. Clap, 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 get that. Clap, 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 hit it. Clap, clap, clap. Mm. Oh, sorry, I missed that one, but you get the, you get the idea. So that's something I would wish Snapback had. And maybe it does have it, um, but maybe like a little thing here, like every four hits, I can click on it and it would, it would kind of like use the trigger and detect that. Maybe there's a way of doing it already. I'm not too sure. Again, I didn't read the manual like most of you guys. I just like using the plugin and learning as I go. So again, we have access to a lot, a lot of different like reverses. A sci-fi suck. Anytime there's a suck in there, we can add more attack too. So it's just, it's probably just me being lazy. I could automate this on and off. So I could do this like so. So it turns on there. Clap. And then just remove it for the rest, right? But again, it's all about workflow. If it can be added in a plugin, I think it's sick. You know, every eight hits, every four hits, maybe they're... They'll take my feedback. Maybe they won't. Who knows? There, we can also use Snapback on full out loops, right? So here I have this loop from a brand new minimal tech pack that I created for you guys called um, Solid. So if you're making an underground house and you're looking at stuff like trying to stay with the current trends, it's a good pack. If you like people like Black Child, Michael Beebe, um, some Palsa stuff. I call it a minimal tech pack, but I think I mis misnamed it. It should have been a deep tech pack, but who knows? Probably add something to get it to pop more. So I would want some form of attack or click or perks here we go like let's add maybe a shaker and now we're layering that now as you can see snapback is detecting some of the hits but it's not detecting all of them so i believe this is where we go into the trigger section we have the algorithm set to drums and from there we can increase the detail so that it finds all the little hits and now we have all of them there so now when we hear it Now, again, the beautiful thing about Snapback is that it also allows us to filter, right? So we can add it. We can also tighten it with the decay. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing as I was doing that, that came to mind was, you know what? Maybe the detail doesn't need to be so up because there's something cool about some of the drum hits getting accented on certain ones and it adds to it, right? We, we do want to lower the volume a bit, though. Like so. There you go. Mmm. You can also filter the drums coming in, so that way we only look at certain frequencies, and that will dictate the trigger. So this is super useful if you have, let's say, a clap that you want to layer inside a loop. Then the clap usually will land somewhere between 1 to 3K. Right? So you can use that to, uh, like, zoom in on that. You can increase the width. So that's the one thing, too, right? If the sample itself seems like if it, the sample doesn't or the transient we pick doesn't have width and we use this width knob, it doesn't implement Haas or it doesn't implement anything to increase width unorganically, as I would say. Um, so it might be an issue sometimes. But not too shabby. I added the work block hit. I also wouldn't have it so high in the mix, but okay. So why don't we try adding snapback to synths? I'm curious, man. Let's say I had a lay in it a bit. So that could be useful in a sense. Back in the days of Big Room House in 2012, 2013 era, like what they would do is they would layer like these clicks with the lead so that the lead would pop, pop more through the mix, give it a little bit more presence. And wide. So we can definitely let you snap back to layer on top of synths. I don't think this is the way it was intended to be used. 
We gotta find the triggers. Trying to find them all, bro. Oh, no. There we go. You can definitely add. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey. Fight it a bit. View Snapback is a dope plugin that layers your drums, adds pre shifts, just makes them sound a lot more interesting. And I think the power of it will come down to the sound designer and producer knowing when to use it, how to use it. But it offers something cool. I love buying plugins and gear sometimes because it always opens up my eyes to things that I could do. And if you never thought about layering like transient or texture layer with your drums or adding that reverse into your drums, then now you know. And that's the cool thing about plugins like this when they do stuff different that we really haven't seen is they open your eyes to stuff that you could do, stuff that can accentuate your tracks and stuff that keeps your tracks simple, but adds complexity at the same time. As a sound designer that's making sample packs every month for you guys to make the music you want is a must get. I will be using it in a lot of my sound design work and hopefully you guys will too. Now, if you guys have Snapback and I missed anything crucial in it, Make sure to leave it down in the comments. I'd love to read. You're teaching me and you're also letting other people know of this amazing plugin. With that being said, if you want to support the channel, you can find all of my sound design work at evilsounds.com. You guys take care and you guys have a great rest of your day.